Okay, mock draft time. I'm going to propose a trade and help me out. Let me know if this is something that we could pull off or not. I'm still not sure, but I didn't want to I didn't want to look at like any mock draft simulator. Does it work? Does it not? I just want to go with my gut. See what see if it works. So, I want to I want the Lions to be have two top 10 picks, get elite talent up at the top, and then we know we can trust Brad Holmes at the back end. Like let's go get the top top two defensive players we can get and then fill in the holes on the back end. So my thought was let's trade with Arizona, our 18th pick. Okay. So we'll move up to number three and we'll give you our two second round picks. So Arizona would get 18 and then they would get, you know, our, our two second round picks. I don't know exactly where they fall, but you know what I'm saying? So if we did that, then we would get Jalen Carter at three. And then when it comes to our pick, we can go Wilson, Brise, Quentin Johnston. Okay. Why, I mean, almost like why I wouldn't hate that one. Ringo, you could do, so you get Jalen Carter and you get, oh my gosh, you get Wilson, you get Ringo, you can get two top 10 picks defensive guys to really flip our defense from eh, we need help to we're we're underachieving to we're not good to man all of a sudden your d-line is set and now you've really gone and got your secondary looking so much better with Ringo because if you look at the big board I mean Ringo's down here at 12 if we took him up in the six seven eight range I, I wouldn't hate it Joey Potter Porter Jr. as well. I really want a corner, but I also really want Jalen Carter, Will Anderson to just really be like, come on, the top, the top non quarterbacks, Miles Murphy. So we could really do something where may, maybe Miles Murphy falls too. So you go Jalen Carter, Miles Murphy, or Miles Murphy, Ringo. So let me know your thoughts in the comments if that would work would arizona go for that or would detroit be dumb to do something like that where we give our two second round picks away i don't like giving away future first like at all costs hang on to your first round picks so that way you get your second round picks and then we would still have you know our third i don't think we have a fourth but we have a fifth sixth so we you know brad holmes can do good things in the back half of the draft and so that's the only reason i would give up the 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 two seconds is because I know Brad Holmes obviously has proven he's going to find talent there. He said, he said secondary and linebacker linebackers. I'm sorry. Linebacker and wide receiver is where he likes to get talent in the back hand, hand excuse me, back half of the draft. But I think you got to You don't find stud D lineman in the back half where, that's where you would want to go, Will Anderson, Jalen Carter, if we want to really improve our defense. I'm not looking for a linebacker in the top two rounds. I'm looking for a linebacker later on, just like we did, just, just like we did with Rodrigo. We can find that guy in the fifth, sixth round, but you're not going to find the elite game changer. Just, oh, yeah, this fifth round D tackle out of Northwestern. Yeah, no way. That's not going to happen. So you got to get the big guys when you can get the big guys and that's why you see them mocked you know that's why you see those guys mocked big time it's either quarterback or d-line because it's so hard you just can't find these guys walking down the street so that's why i would love to go up to the top five and get them so let me know your thoughts in the comments i i think brad holmes would absolutely do that he's shown that jameson williams went up and got him went up and got a guy elite talent that missed basically the whole year, you know, three quarters of the year because it's hard to find the elite talent. You have to go get it. You can't sit around. So either go hard at the beginning of the draft and then, you know, then wait obviously and get what you can at the back half or, you know, that, or you don't, but then all of a sudden those second and third round picks, that's why we don't, we haven't hit traditionally. I think that's, I mean, I'm scarred because we haven't hit traditionally on those second round picks of, oh my gosh, how many second round running backs are we going to take in our lives? Mikel LaShore, Javid Best, 
you, the list goes on and on. Amir Abdullah, that just, oh, it's just terrible. Go get elite talent and then trust your scouting in the back half. I'm okay with that. I think that would be just totally fine. So let's look at it one more time of, of the draft order. We're sitting at six. What if we get two top 10 picks? If I told you we get two top 10 picks, I mean, you take that all day. Uh, you'd wonder what we gave up, but hey, we got two top 10 picks. We'd have to give up a future first round pick. I, I, I don't. I don't hate it. So let me know, would Arizona go for that and take those two second round picks? Or is that something that they may not do? And the only reason I say that is because Arizona doesn't need a quarterback so they can get out of there, but they need help at the elite talent as well. Of course, I mean, any of these teams picking up here do. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, and uh, I'll see all of you on the next one.